Hello, it's Terry Conroy from Danu's Irish Herb Garden. And today, because it's a, well, not because it's a beautiful day, I'm lucky that it's a beautiful day, because today I'm going out to plant some bare-rooted trees. And um, I'm just by the skin of my teeth managing to get them in, because already there's flowers blooming, trees are budding, life is returning and stirring, sap is rising, and I've just got about, well, today probably, to get these trees in because it'll be past the time. So this is the field they're going into. It's very wet and rushy and full of that awful grass that just turns to kind of straw. Um, I've planted willow in here in the past because I presumed that with it being so wet that willow would, would thrive, but it didn't. It actually kind of, I don't know, drowned. I cut the rushes back as often as I can. That's the garden next door. Um, I try to keep the rushes down and this long grass, and I'm preparing now to make a little bit more room for some new trees. got my trees here from Kelt and I've just had a delivery of seeds I ordered from Irish Seed Savers and I can't remember what I ordered so it's really exciting it's like Christmas let's see what have I got in here oh wow you get so many free seeds when you're a, when you become a, a member so let me see I've got some mugwort which is Artemisia I've already got it in the garden but it won't hurt to have extra seeds some French honeysuckle, that'll please the bees. I've got some elephant amaranth, which again is a beautiful flower and will be very good for the bees, but it will also provide a carbohydrate crop for us if we should wish to use it. What's this? Oh, some oats. I'll sow some oats again, because I did that in the past and they grow really well here in Connemara. I've got a leek. I've got... Shetland cabbage, so that's a uh, that's um, an heirloom seed from the very tip of northern Scotland, so it should survive beautifully here. I've got purple sprouting broccoli, oops, some beetroot, some more cucumber, courgette, a broad bean. So that's brilliant. I think that's everything. And this is the bag of trees. And again, I know I've got a hundred alder in here. And I know I've got birch, but I just can't remember what else, what else I ordered. And you know, both Celt and Irish seed savers are um, native. Well, I mean, the trees are all native. The seeds are all heirloom seeds, which come from um, seed savers in Scariff that they, they grow and then open pollinate to collect the seeds. So it's great to support Irish companies like this. And of course, Seed Savers has charitable status. So I donate to them. I make a donation every year and that's why I get free seeds. And then I've ordered, I order another three or four packets on top of that just to give them a bit of extra money. So I've got alder. I'm going to plant those now. Proper birch. I've got three little rowans. I've got some oak and I've got birch. So they're all native. Well, I'm not sure about the beech, but the rest of them are all native Irish trees. And um, they, they're suitable for this area. Alder is going to soak up a lot of the water in that field, which is kind of semi waterlogged. Then the birch will come a bit further away from the water. The rowan, I've only picked three of those, so they'll just go into some windy spots. The copper birch, I've already got three down in this field and I'll put those next to them, but one of them is going in a pot to, to make um, a lovely display. And the oaks, we'll just pop them in where we can. I've also got hazel. 
they're all bare rooted, very reasonably priced. And um, I'm going to pop these back into the bag to keep the wind from drying out the roots. And I'm going to get on with the alder. You know, it's pretty, it's not even really soil it's it's like wet mucky squelch um, but fortunately the alders really thrive in these conditions I mean they they're happy to grow underwater practically which is pretty much what they're doing so we'll get in as many as we can as the day goes on and I'm working along the fence there to the right um, which separates this part of the garden from my brother's field it's great to see some of these trees that went in last winter and um, the number that I've put in today. Jazz, there she is, keeping a watch, keeping me safe while I labor away. But down here, I'm going to make new veg beds. So that grass will come in handy as a base for those. If you've enjoyed this video, please subscribe let me have your comments because it's nice to get a conversation going and um, stay well. Bye for now.